In this video, we'll balance zinc nitrate plus sodium carbonate. Let's count the atoms up. We have one zinc, and then this polyatomic ion, NO3, it's called the nitrate ion. I have NO3 here, and it stays together in the chemical reaction, so I also have it over here. So I'm just going to count this as one item. I have one of the nitrates times two. That gives me two of them. That'll make balancing a lot easier. I have two sodiums. And then again, CO3, that's the carbonate. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together. I have one here and then again here. So I'm just going to say I have one of the carbonates. On the product side, I have one zinc, one nitrate, one sodium, and one carbonate. And by doing this, I can see right away what I need to do to balance the equation. I have one nitrate here, two here, one sodium here, two here. All I have to do is put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. Now, one sodium times the two gives me two sodiums. This two applies to everything. So the nitrate, my one nitrate times the two, that gives me two, and I'm done. This equation is balanced. So by treating these polyatomic ions as one item, if they appear on both sides of the equation, that makes it quite a bit easier to balance. This is Dr. B with the balance equation for Zn, NO3, 2 plus Na2, CO3. Thanks for watching.